so we're gonna walk by and see this. So we're gonna have to try to like add some add some flavor to it. This is looking great, guys. That's really good. That's come up real nice. So let's put this cobblestone in here too. Diorite I don't think I can do anything with, but I can just get some stone made into smooth stone, I guess. Make the edge that faces the main factory yellow as a careful edge. Oh yeah, I could do, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I have any yellow left. I might need to make some more. Yeah, no, I don't. Got lots of signs left over. I got some food and crap down here too, which I could do with taking up. Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. We're going to have to make some more concrete. And then let's get some, um, some of this stuff put away too so that I can... So I don't think we need that. Tracks, I don't think we need just for now. Got a couple of extra glass panes. Sticky pistons. Freaking tons of these things now. Um, and then these trap doors. We might use some more of these after. We'll just see. Put some chests in here. Hoppers. We don't have any. We're going to need to go make some food. Put this redstone in here for now too. Nice. Also, mine the gap signs all around. <laughs> Jeez. We're taking our factory roleplay to the next level. <laughs> it's good, though. Hey, Mark, thanks for gifting a sub to Harry for 20 months in a row. Was that you every, every month gifting Harry a sub? 20 months in a row? If so, Harry, that's real nice of you. Thanks, man. Okay. Pork chops, some apples. Got a couple of apples in here. Should we go do some fishing? Pumpkin. What does? What can I make with pumpkin? Pie? Is rabbit stew worth eating, or is it just kind of gross? We can make cake or something. Mine the gap. Pumpkin pies are a good source of food. Okay, we do have quite a few pumpkins. So let's get this stuff in here. Um, we're gonna have to take something because I'm running out of cod. We got some bread, I guess. We got some cooked pork chop here, actually. That's fine. Should make some snowman guards with the pumpkins. Is that good or not really? It doesn't seem like it would be very good somehow. My tools could do with a little repair. Um, we've got two mine shafts that we can explore. Um, how am I for concrete powder stuff? Hey, Slugger, just wanted to see you made me with your family proud. Made me, see you made me and your family proud. Hey, thanks very much, Shiz Khan. Shiz, Shiz Khan. We gotta sort out some of this stuff still. And then we gotta sort this thing out. I think we're getting to the point now where we really need this, um, iron farm, right? Gonna have to go grab a bit more sand. Gravel, we seem to be okay for, for the time being. We need to make some more light gray. Have I ever considered jumping into GTA RP? I don't know, I would, can I run a store or anything? Can I be like a shopkeeper or something like that? And can I sell things to people? That's the kind of shit I love to do. Is any of that possible? It is possible. Car sales? I would be robbed 24-7. That, see, that I don't mind. I think that would be hilarious. That could be my thing. I could be the shopkeeper that just gets robbed all the time. Literally, it would just be a stream of me constantly being robbed. There'd be like a lineup outside the store. People robbing me. I would be up for that. That would be fun as hell. And can I can I stock my shelves and sell wares and stuff like that? Is it is it possible car salesman i would be as well that would be awesome yeah you can also do convenience store and do lotteries pretty much just sell cars okay so is there like an economy to it though like do would i have to pay people to go out and get me cars to stock me up and then i could sell the cars to people who wanted to buy the cars or whatever taxi driver no See, I'm already starting to lose interest. I want something that I can build in any game, pretty much. 
that's like my go-to. I want to just build things. Blue dye. Do we want blue or light blue? Let's try light blue and see what it looks like. Light blue dye. So we'd have 16 light blue dye. I feel like light blue would look really nice in there. So I can make some concrete. I can make some yellow. I, I can make some light blue. The light blue looks almost like turquoise though, doesn't it? Which is not a bad thing. I don't think we need that much of this though. Let's just try to make like a little bit. Right, and um, I need some either gray dye or we have to go out and pick some flowers, I think. I'm gonna have to go grab some flowers, try both. Yeah, I could do. Uh, I bone mealed up a whole area here, didn't I? So we can just go grab some flowers from here. I'm using the colors of the original Sipsco employees. Yeah, well, kind of. I mean, they're very sort of like common colors though, aren't they? We're trying to keep Sipsco on brand. We want to stay true to the original employee Sips and Redacted for the ultimate experience. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we could, so well, I, having said that though, we haven't done anything in orange. We have not. What does this stuff turn into? Just yellow? Must do, right? Yeah, it gives us yellow dye. This gives us red dye. This will give us blue dye. This gives us white or possibly gray. I think the last time I came out here was to get gray. I mean, we could do, do with having some more yellow. We completely ran out. So a little bit of yellow would be nice. Um, and then what is this? Can this stuff turn into dye? Can we turn this stuff into like a like pink or something? Oh yeah, it is pink. That's pretty cool. I mean, we're never gonna run out of flowers, realistically, are we? There's gonna be, there's always gonna be flowers around. We can always grow more with bone meal and stuff. It's not a problem. Just bone meal that for more. So if I bone meal a peony, it's going to make more peonies around it or make a, an ultra, ultra peony. <laughs> Mega begonias. What about these bad boys? What do they make? Purple? Or like a, like a light purple, like mauve or something? Magenta. Magenta. Nice. Okay, let's see what this rabbit stew does. Whoa! God damn, rabbit stew is crazy. Why didn't you guys tell me? Give me like five hunger hams. Now that, <laughs> that, you're right. That is a pog. One of the biggest. That's a big one right there. One giant pog for man, one humongous pog for all of mankind. I like the Creeper Hotel, the view of the Creeper Hotel from here. I think that turns into white dye, doesn't it? So that's light gray. And that's white dye. So, put that in like that, that, that. That doesn't turn into shit. Rose bushes just turn into. I think rose bushes, as they are, are better to keep as rose bushes, though, right? Because they look nice. We could put some some roses like outside the uh, the compound. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to bone meal up some more. Um, I th I got one light gray from all of that. There's lots of flowers around though. If we ever need to come back out and do it, it's good to know what turns into what, right? We could try the dark blue as well instead of the light blue. Does the Creeper Hotel need decor? Yeah, it does. It's pretty basic right now. I mean, it looks all right, but yeah, we could definitely spruce it up a little bit. We got to finish up down here and stuff too, and we need to get back to doing the uh, Culinary University of Northern Texas. That's got to be finished. We need to plant some trees along here. There's a lot to do. You think dark blue is more beautiful? Hmm. hmm. We'll see about that. We'll see about this. Um, so we want some yellow. Do we want this much yellow? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? We'll have a lot of yellow. We're going to need it for the in the factory and stuff, right? Okay, let's go get the stuff we... I, last I checked, I think we had three stacks of TNT in the in the concrete machine. Fix the hedges at the entrance. Yeah, I know. We need to fix those too. They got um, they got decimated in the raid. Oh shit! It's all jammed up. Precious yellow blocks here. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh no, I don't have any milk. I'm gonna have to go get some milk. If we're fighting these guys, I will need milk. Because it's going to trigger... Fuck. Are they in here? Oh, lord. Okay, we might have to break out the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to get some milk, chat. Oh, fuck. The golems are, are beating them up. If the golems beat them up, is that going to trigger a raid? The golems are doing it. No. Okay, I'm just going to grab some milk, though, just in case. Come here, Betsy. Thanks. Okay, let's go check out what's going on over here now. I don't want these guys escaping either, right? I think the golems might have just absolutely done them in, though. I hope they have, anyway. Oh, this is light gray. That turns into light gray, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Now we have three. Uh, how's it going, guys? All good? Yeah, it looks like they did it. <laughs> it looks like the, uh, the campus security is taking care of the problem. Nice. That's real good. I didn't even need to drink milk. That was the bull, not the cow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta get rid of some of this dust so that I can actually pick up some of this other stuff. That don't impress me. You love gold. Man, me too. It's my favorite teeth color. Whoa. Hello. How did you get in here? ESOB? Where'd he go? Did he die? Okay. 
He stole a grass block from somewhere. That was a random home invasion, wasn't it? He sort of turned up and... Just started... They hate water, alright. have hit efficiency on this machine yet? I think so, yeah. We've made a lot of concrete with this machine, and it's been a lot more enjoyable than doing it manually, that's for sure. I think it was worth the time it took to make it. What does the machine do? Makes concrete, which we're using a lot of to build stuff. the first machine we built. It was really fun to build, but it took a very long time to build it. Our other machines have come up a lot quicker in comparison. So we still have a bit of yellow concrete powder here. We might as well just get this stuff done, right? It makes making concrete fun, 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 fun until the weekend. Friday, Friday's fun. Saturday, Saturday's not so fun. Sunday, Sunday, day of rest. Until Monday and the next week. You know? Tuesday. Tuesday is super fun. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. Put your guns up for Tuesday, motherfuckers. Hell yeah, I can't believe Tuesday. It's the best day of the week. Uh, what else did I have in here? I had some of this light blue. All the colors of the rainbow. Actually, the light blue looks really nice. Uh, we might get a little bit of light blue off of this. We don't actually need much of it, so we might as well just slam dunk it. Pick some up. Yo, chill out. Sorry. Sorry. Once I start thinking about Tuesday, I just go wild. Just go completely nuts. So I apologize. I've got a spare bowl there. This is that song Mark suggested hours ago in that donation I basically ignored. What was it, Mark? Boom, boom, shake the room. Alexa, play Boom, Shake the Room by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Boom, shake the room by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince from Spotify. One of the best.
and it being really good. The reality is, is that what makes all that stuff fun is the helicopters and the cars and shit, right? Just riding a horse with your friends is just not very fun. You know, having a horse race with your friends is not very fun either. Rocket bike is the best. Rocket bike. At this point, GTA Online's lifespan in relation to Red Dead, it was pretty boring too. I guess so, yeah. I guess, um... If Red Dead 2 comes out on PC, they'll be able to do modded servers and stuff though, right? Kind of like how they've done with GTA, which might breathe some life back into it. But yeah, Red Dead Online was just a bit of a non-starter for me. I just, I don't know, there just wasn't anything. I joined like this PvP thing one time and it all it is is people one-shotting you with auto-aim. <laughs> like it's not very fun. But then, GTA is the same, right? Just like PvPing against people I don't know. I, I I think I'm past all that now at this point in my life. Partly because I just don't have the reflexes to do it anymore. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like there should just be more to do than just like roam around and blow up a guy's car with a C4 or something, you know? Same, same story is the reason you get Red Dead. Yeah, the story in Red Dead single player was phenomenal just such an awesome setting and you just wanted to be in that world right it's very like immersive and stuff the characters were all really well done and everything but yeah I don't want to be like lassoed by a 12 year old and headshot with the uh, auto aim PlayStation controller and then you know what I mean that's not my that's not the experience I'm looking for in an in an online game. <clears throat> Red Dead has job roles now. You can be a bounty hunter, collector, or a trader. It's amazing. Really? What kind of stuff can you trade? Can you set up a cool shop and stuff? And be repeatedly um, stuck up by the, by bad guys? I play Control. No, I haven't played it. You can sell raccoon skins. Everything, yeah. You can have a shop at your camp. A trader's cart. So, do people actually trade stuff and make money from it? Like, can can you can somebody come and sell me some pelts and then I can then go on and sell those pelts to other people at a higher price? Can I have, like, a supplier and stuff? Or, no, nah, it doesn't work like that. Yes. Why am I reaching for higher chests in the sorted section? Shouldn't blocks drop to the bottom one? Yeah, but we extended it, but we didn't extend the um, the back part of it. So we have to reach for the higher ones until we... We basically need some more iron for a whole bunch of things. There's a lot of stuff. Things that are being traded are mostly guns, gold bars, and stuff like that. Right, so nobody wants to buy, like, fish. If I go and do a whole bunch of fishing, nobody wants to buy that. See, I wish they would make it so that, like, stuff like that was viable, right? So that, you know, kind of like, it, remember WoW, how WoW used to be? Like, uh, with, like, the professions, you could actually make money from them and stuff? Hmm. I feel like some of that stuff should be more viable. Somebody should be able to go out, do some fishing, level up in fishing to catch, like, better quality fish... And then be able to, like, sell the, that fish to somebody who could then make it into, like, high-quality food. You know what game was really good for shit like that? Star Wars Galaxies, before the Jump to Lightspeed uh, expansion. Fuck me, the professions and stuff in that game were amazing. I, fuck, I loved it. Man, and RuneScape was like that. I never played RuneScape, but Galaxies was like that. I had a tailor. I had, like, a master... To, man, I fell asleep so many times in front of my computer grinding that out as well. But I became a master tailor. And I used to be able to make like... Um, oh, I can't remember what it was that I was making. 
something to do. I needed a lot of trim. I'd buy trim in bulk from somebody, and then I'd buy somebody else something else in bulk. And in my house, so my my house had like all of the the usual shit because you could have player housing was a huge thing in galaxies. So my my house is awesome. It had all these ornaments from all the you know exploits I'd gone on and shit like that. But then I had this huge storage room in my basement where I would store all of these massive crates of trim and other stuff. And um, I had a, a shop out front of my house that people could like stop at. And I used to sell shirts and stuff all the time. But I had like these augmented shirts. And also, not only that, people would come to my shop and buy stuff. And in the spaceport, the nearest spaceport, I lived on Tatooine. The nearest spaceport, which I guess was probably most icely when I when I think about it, um, I had one of those like uh, you know those little black like um, uh, Robovac uh, droids that were on the Death Star. You know the ones that like would just like sort of drive around on the floor. People would be like running by them and not paying any attention to them. I had one of those in the spaceport. Uh, and like every like two minutes or whatever it would spam like a sales message out of it So like say you landed in the spaceport My little robot was configured to automatically do advertising for my shop So it would like say come and buy enchanted garments at coordinates blah 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 And that would get people out to my shop and stuff as well. Fuck me galaxies was amazing It had so many cool things in it It's weird because I played a lot of it and I loved it and like the professions and stuff in it were just so good And then you play a game like WoW where it's like all dumbed down and trimmed out and it's like It felt like a bit of a step back almost, you know as good as WoW was They could have added like some really awesome stuff to WoW to make it more like more like that, right? Like cool player housing People want to be immersed in that world, right? The world of Warcraft. You know, it's of all it's about big stories and characters and stuff, but man, people like the world, right? They just want to be in there. They want to do dumb shit like that, or at least I do. I'm speaking for myself and not for all of you chat, but yeah, it would be great if some of that stuff existed. Imagine you could like just open up like a tavern in Goldshire. Maybe you don't want to go raiding. You know what I mean? Maybe you just want to be like when I like I was playing Rust last night and I had a great time. Uh, we we okay. We just had a server wipe. Okay, the the server had wiped like five hours ago. There were already people running around with AKs and stuff, which we were a little bit salty about. But it's the way the game works, right? Some people are just more available and grind faster and harder. So. It was a little bit hard to get set up. When I logged in, everybody was like, Oh, fuck, we haven't been able to set up yet. We've been, like, prevented from getting a shit shack up and running, like, a couple times or whatever. So we found a nice spot, and we started setting up. But the difference this time was that everybody was, like, doing something, right? So I was sitting in the base, um, receiving all of the resources, and building the base, while everybody else was just, like, out fighting people, gathering stuff or whatever. Slowly the base took shape. Um, and then I got some storage set up and I was sorting that out and stuff. So basically everybody would come back and they'd have stuff or they would need stuff. So I'd have stuff ready for them. Or I would like intake all the stuff that they brought back and sort it out and keep it all sorted out, right? Uh, and I, I had a great time. Fuck me, it was fun. It was nice. Just like not having to like go out and do typical stuff. It was just cool to organize stuff and build something and be like supportive of the people I was playing with and stuff. I would love to do something like that in WoW. I would love to open up a tavern where I could like brew up a whole bunch of like brews or something and, and never step foot in a dungeon in that game. Literally just sit there, people could come in, roleplay or whatever. Buy my brews, which would give them a cool raid buff for like an hour or two or something. You know what I mean? Like shit like that would be awesome. I would totally fucking do that. And have a good time too, you know? Especially if you could like make in-game money and stuff like that. And if there was like some achievements for just doing that instead of doing the other stuff. You know what I mean? That'd be great. As far as I know, nothing like that exists in a game like WoW. 
I don't know, Tavern Simulator 2019. It's an example, right? Not not necessarily a tavern, but you know what I mean? Like, imagine the blacksmithing profession uh, actually had some depth to it. And you had to have, like, a smithy. And, you know, the more you put in, the more you got out of it. And, you know, you could become known as this person who just had, like, higher quality stuff and... You know what I mean? You get customers. They could do like the cross realm stuff so that you're not just like on one server as well. You know, like people could like phase into your shop or whatever. Fuck me, that'd be so cool. I would, I would play the shit out of that. I would just, it would just be like a second life. You know, the go-to guy. Yeah, I know. Why not? Right? That would be really fun. And then, you know, it would be hard to get like set up or whatever. You'd have to put a lot of time and effort into it, but then it could pay off in the end if you like you know, persevere and get there and become, like, the go-to guy. Like I did with my tailoring business in Galaxies. Like, it it took a little while, but I found suppliers. I actually had a guy who was, like, I negotiated a rate with him. And, like, once a week, he would give me a shipment of trim. It was fucking awesome. It was so good. So I had to make sure that I made enough money from the shirts that I sold to be able to afford the next shipment. And I would profit off the back of it. I made a lot of money. Man, coming back to Galaxies, I remember um, we went on like, we raided like a Corellian Corvette or something one time, which was a cool idea. Um, and before that, before we went on there, we had to, we had to, there's like a certain amount of like, you could get like a million buffs in that game, right? There was all these different buffs that you could get from like different like, alcohol or potions or meds or whatever so this guy near us had a house it was completely automated okay you 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 could like select from a menu what you wanted so like there was like an all-in-one like raid buff thing you could select and so you'd select it and it'd say okay you need to put a million credits in this container so you go and put a million credits in the container and then, like, these disco lights would come on and, like, fucking all these buffs would be applied to you automatically. Dude wasn't even online, okay? All this shit just happened automatically. He'd set all of it up. Fuck, it was incredible. It was so cool. I really liked it. Yeah, I wish games were like that as well, yeah. It would be really good. Well, I mean, Galaxies was, and they, they ruined it. They completely ruined it. They WoW came out, and they were like, we need to be more like WoW. So, all of a sudden, everything had a fucking, like, yellow exclamation mark above it. And they put in these quest systems. And they dumbed down a bunch of stuff. And then everybody stopped playing it. Like, the things that made it great were just gone. It sucked. But, yeah. At its, um... At its... In, in its heyday, it was awesome. It was really good. And there's other games, like, that people, like, wax lyrical about in that sense, too, right? Um... Dark Ages of Camelot, I think, was another one where people just fucking... You hear nothing but praise for, like, the, the times people had in that game, right? Raiding each other and having castles and keeps and stuff. Yeah. I never played it personally, but I heard it was really good. Wow, my god. Two full stacks almost. Like, too shy from two full stacks. Saw a lot of customers at the Creeper Hotel today. It's been busy. It's too late for Bioware. Was uh was that Bioware? Dark Age of Camelot? Was it Bioware? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, like I said, I never played it. I only heard about it. Are you describing with the jobs at basically the pitch for Titan, the cancelled Blizzard MMO that became Overwatch? I don't know, because I don't think anybody knows that much about what it was. People know roughly what it was. It was like you were a, you had a job during the day or something, and but you were a superhero and you'd come home and then you'd go out and fight crime at night or something like that, and it sounded like it it probably was shaping up to be something pretty cool, but then I think they just like canned it all. They just didn't want to do it, and then that was that. Fucking Darlene is almost broken. That was a plan for Titan. Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, I don't know. Shit. Am I out of minecarts? I'm out of minecarts and I don't have... An I can't even get down to my, my thing. Okay, we're going to have to go and just mine some random iron. Possibly out in the desert or maybe even down in 
start clearing out some of that mine shaft. I got a little bit of milk, so we could just go over there. You want to see the iron farm? We haven't even started on it yet. Um, we could make a start on it, because fucking... I, I've, I seem to be just bottlenecking hard on iron. But I need to get down and fix these tools. Because I'm going to need them to build the iron farm. So we got to do this first. And then maybe we can have a... We can, maybe we can make a start on that. And then while that... Again, while that is like accumulating iron, then we can spend time, um, you know, making the other machines look pretty or whatever. We also got to figure out what we're going to do. There's the big Jesus cross. Okay, we, we must be close. Um, we also got to figure out um, doing some uh, other stuff too in terms of... We need to get... Um, is this the one? This is a huge ravine and mine shaft, right? So did I not come in here properly? I seem to remember this being different. Ah, here we go. Look. Oh, that's a point. Do we have any iron at at the blast furnace? This might even be close enough to affect uh, the creeper hotel, right? A little bit. I should have brought some water with me too, right? I hear water. Maybe I'll just go fill up quick before we come down here. Because you never know, right? Oh yeah, there's some right there. You never know when you're going to fall into your next puddle of lava and almost die. Sipspot's dead? I don't know what happened to Sipspot. I just don't know. Right. So we're going to have to dig down, I think. We're going to have to start digging. This is a zombie. Okay, if we're going to dig down, let's dig down like here. Where does that get us? Not quite where we want to go. Aha. Okay. This is a good sign. Um, so now that I have a little bit of cobble, I can make like a platform to get down in here too. Whew. connect some of this up I guess and can we go back through this way too and make sure that we don't get surprised Jesus this is huge look at this place there's skeletons everywhere too grab some iron That's the way we came in. Right in the spidey webs. Bitch. It's down here. More cave. Okay, we can have a quick look down here too. Creepers and everything down there. It's like a it's a full ravine with a mine shaft built all around it. Okay, we gotta be really careful with Darlene here. So Darlene's about to um about to bite the bullet. It's a lot of gravel down here though.
Okay. Well, it's good, because I think this is pretty close to the... This will probably count as one of the tunnels for the uh, for the Creeper Hotel spawning, right? Depending on where I'm at. So, lighting up all of this stuff is only a good thing for us anyway. And then we can get some iron and stuff so I can go fix my tools. And then we can start working on this iron farm. Let me just light some of this stuff up. Am I planning on participating in the SawCon event? Later this year with the Yogg's cast. Sawcon? What the hell's that? I have no idea what that is. Sawcon. <laughs> Sawcon, these nuts. <laughs> Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, I was going to actually, now that I know what it is. Man. Can't stop thinking about these nuts all the time. What's this? Is that a poison spider one? It looks like it is actually. Poison spider? Or normal spider? Zombie? Poison spot. No, I don't know if that is a poison spawner, you know? Huh. Okay, let's light all this stuff up and we'll go have a look. I got the milk, so... Crucially, I also have this bow. Which is helpful against these assholes as well. Okay, let's light up this stuff too. Looks like we can go down here as well. Lots of gravel. Here we go. What do we get? Hey, there's a name tag and some diamonds in there too. I should have probably just checked the chest <laughs> instead of just like slamming it. That's fine though. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. There is... It looks like it might be spiders. Normal spiders? A gold zombie. You guys aren't scared of a gold zombie, are you? Oh, it's just a normal spider one. Huh, that's pretty cool. found another music disc. That's fucking great, chat. That's our second one, baby! Have you done the 30 enchants on my armor? I've done armor enchants, yeah. Got a couple. Look at this piece of shit. Asshole. Trying to get fresh. He must have dropped down from here. Okay, we'll try to block some of this stuff off so that we can use this. So we're going to have to... Um, there's a whole bunch of gunpowder in here too. We might as well grab this. It's worth something, right? Some name tags, a little bit of iron. What do we not need? Fence. Fence we don't need. Rotten flesh we can sell. Grab this iron. Bone. Golden horse armor. I don't know if it's of any use to us. Is the spider spawner any good? 
Is the foundry done? No, the foundry's not done yet. Um, it's working, but it it doesn't look very nice. Moment. Infinite string and spider eyes. I have infinite rotten flesh at my zombie spawner. Yeah, you're right. I do. Well, we've made some great progress in here. Really great progress. Already. It's nice. We came down this way, didn't we? So it wasn't too hard to figure out how to get back either. Oh, and that's the spawner right through there. Okay, so we know we now have a spider spawner, which I mean, it would save us having to go underground. And in fact, we could just make like more above ground stuff here. We could have spiders, though. Spiders don't really drop the same way, do they? They don't like drop down the same way that zombies and ske skeletons would have been a worthwhile one. Spiders, I don't think it's at all useful. So I don't think we can get them to fall down and die the same way that we can with the other guys, right? So maybe not not as useful. It's hard to make a copy farm for farm them down there and use water to shoot it to the surface. Yeah, I could I guess I could. I don't I don't really know what I need from spiders just now. So let's leave it down there. We know it's there. If later on we get to the point where we're like, fuck me, we need a lot of string and spider eyes, we know where to go get it. We can figure something out, right? We need eyes for potions. Okay, so like when we start doing more brewing and stuff like, like that, we know we can go down there and spawn some, right? Unlimited fishing rods. <laughs> nice. Nice. We can make unlimited fishing rods. I like that. Yeah, my shovel's about to break. I know, we're gonna go fix it in a sec. We're gonna go fix it in a sec and then we're gonna... Okay, so this iron farm... How high up does Subway it Subway 1000 bonus 100 fun. 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 It's Friday, bitch. Can I get a hallelujah? Hall you feeling it? No? Ha just me? Maybe my dad? No, it's no, it's not just you, Rogue Arthur. It's everybody's feeling it. Everybody is fully committed to having fun on Friday. Not just you. Trust me on this one. Thanks, uh, Rogue Arthur. I appreciate it. Should we try? Should we try out this hot new disc and see what it sounds like? Now that we got another one, fun, 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 fun until the weekend. Oh, it's the same one. It's C four one eight, the exact same, same disc as last time. Unbelievable. I feel so ripped off now. <laughs> Thought we were gonna have something new, fresh, and exciting, but no. It wasn't meant to be. He's dancing. Yeah, he is. He's spinning around having a good old dance there. Like 10 blocks of the go golems don't spawn on the ground. But, um, okay, 10 blocks so that they don't spawn on the ground, but it needs to be a little bit higher than that because they need to, um, the villagers can't see them die either. So, what's. That's what, like 25 blocks? So what are we saying? It needs to be like, should we just say like 40 blocks in the air or something? 28. 28. I know they don't take fall damage. We're gonna kill them either with like magma blocks or pistons or something at the bottom. The point is, though, is that they have to die far away from the villagers. If the villagers see them die, they won't spawn in another one. But if they leave the line of sight, the villagers will be like, Oh, where'd he go? And then spawn in another one. What machine-based shenanigans are going on today? What's up, Ravs? 
Ravs, um, we're gonna make an iron. Ravs, have you seen this other stuff that we built yesterday? Fuck me. We um, we made some like changes and stuff to it too. You want to see this? Do you want the tour or no? You're not really into it. Don't forget, we can collect golems in the water. Water brings them to the hoppers. Lava hits their heads. Right. You saw the hellish kelp train? Man, it's like kind of working now. Have you seen this thing? Have you seen this thing in action yet? It's a pretty good one. Kelp looks like it's all dried up. I think we ran out of fuel. How many blocks? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn. That's pretty good. Is this all full as well? So we can smelt up some more for some huge gains. Um. Christ. It's a lot of blocks. This is the only thing with this though, we gotta manually do this every once in a while. But otherwise I think it's pretty good. So that's like almost a full stack. From all that. <laughs> so one of these things will smelt uh, 20 items. Just one. Not bad, eh? So we got a little bit now. So we could just go like that that like that this one got anything in it yeah it does so that's pretty good crafting menu what about the crafting menu oh yeah I could go uh, dried dried kelp block wait what does that turn into? A kelp block? How come I don't have this uh, this recipe? What is it again? Oh, I'm not at the fucking thing, that's why. So if I just do it like that, it'll make... God, that's so much quicker, isn't it? Holy crap. Why didn't I just do that before, chat? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Let's get these all loaded up and then we can make even more of this stuff, right? Because I'm dumb. That's right. So that's good. Put that in there. That can go in there like that. We can just like split this out too. So this is going to make even more of this stuff. Um, so wraps. Yeah. So is this burning kelp to further dry more kelp? Yes. That's exactly what it's doing. Okay, I'll show you how it works, Ravs. Look. So we have these machines in here that are harvesting kelp. They're not actually hooked up to anything right now. Oh my god, we're almost out of kelp. we got to sort this out soon. So these machines harvest kelp, okay? So as soon as one a kelp stalk grows, uh, pistons come out, smush everything. All this stuff flies up to the top, or floats up to the top, should I say. And then travels down into these hoppers. And then the idea is going to be to deliver the kelp into this train uh, that takes it into this like smelting room, right? So it comes in here, delivers it to all of these. See, you can see all the kelp going into the smokers, right? Um, and then uh, start smelting it all. So this stuff, the dried kelp, is then taken from the back here. We've got this room back here. So this little guy picks it all up out of the smokers once it's dried and ready to go. And what he's doing is he's delivering it to this thing. See, it's all traveling up this water thing so that it's going to get delivered back to that chest so that we can craft it. So see, it just all it does is go back and forth, delivers it into these hoppers, puts it into these into this dropper, and then it goes up that water elevator back out here delivers it into this chest so I never have to go back there basically um, and then once this chest fills up I just uh, craft a whole bunch of these blocks put them in here make more of it keep that filled up and then uh, if I want to I can then 
use it to um, to power all these furnaces as well in the smeltery, right? So I'd all, all, all I'd do is I'd drop some of those blocks in here. This little guy then goes around and delivers it to all these furnaces as fuel, right? And then say we want to make like smooth stone or something like that. I can just drop like a bunch in here. Actually, I can show you this working if you want. It's pretty good. It didn't take a long time to build up either. Look at all the crap that we smelted already. Like this just smelts up and gets delivered into this chest while we're off doing other stuff. Like it's fucking great. So, so say I wanted to make like uh, just like a bunch of like stone or something. I could just come in here, grab a couple of stacks of cobble or something, uh, go back here, shove it into this hopper, right? And then once this minecart fills up a little bit, off it goes goes around the track and delivers the cobblestone to all the furnaces and then the fuel has already been delivered to the furnaces and then the, the one that's traveling around on the bottom is picking up all the smelted stuff chucking it into this elevator in the middle and then once it starts see it's delivering now see it's just coming down into this hopper and into this chest so you can see stone is just smelting up and then if we wanted to turn that into like you know, smooth stone, just take the stone, put it in, and it does it, yeah? And there's a cat. There's always a cat in there fucking everything up as well. I don't know if he's actually stopped any of the carts or whatever, but I'll go in there and kill him shortly. Yeah, so what do you think, Ravs? You like that? That's pretty good, though? Ravs, the rest base is alive too. I checked this morning. It's fine. It's, it's good. The walls are looking great. Yeah. Pest control. Yeah, we do need some pest control down here. We need to make sure that maybe we just have like a, a bunch of lava on the floor so the cat will just hop into the lava and die. It'll light up the whole room real nice too, right? Build a monument to Terry? Oh. We could build a monument to Terry, yeah. It's a Mr. Ideas patented machine. That's right. Cold tea, my favorite. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's where we're at, chat, with that machine. Rav's just got the tour. I don't even know if he wanted the tour. I don't even know if he's impressed much by Minecraft at all. Let's pretend that he is, though, for fun. And uh, let's imagine that that was a great success. Okay. Where did I get this? Mo oh, yeah. Fuck, I got this minecart, didn't I? I got this minecart from... Um from that mine shaft. So we're actually flush with uh, a little bit of iron from that excursion. Plus, I didn't need to make a mine cart because I got one for free. Free mine carts from the mine shaft. Incredible. That is incredible. And Gary's gone missing as well, yeah. You should make it so the redstone clock only runs when there's items to dispense. I could do. Um, equally, I could also just hide the dispenser further back. Um, behind the wall, and then I wouldn't have to hear the ticking either. This is because of the ticking, right? You don't want to hear the ticking. I don't necessarily want to hear it either, but it is what it is, you know? It's just ticking away there. Tick, 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 boom. Right, let me just sort out this stuff, and then we'll go and fix our tools. Go down to the spawner, which is another thing that we need to sort out at some point, right? I've got to get that bad boy um, gussied up to you. we got to do like one thing at a time. Well, I guess we've got to do the iron farm next. So that we could make a lot more hoppers for various things, right? You think a ticking sound is good? Huh? I think that sound is good. The sound of the merchant villager. Huh? We're gonna glass wall the smeltery room. We are going to. What am I gonna do with all this shit? Eventually die and lose it all, I guess. I don't know. It's been fun to make, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna go fight the ender dragon, die, and then lose it all. 